Okay, this next operator uh, I'd like to go over is the uh, transform elements. So I went ahead and added, kind of got a scene set up. I have a, a point helper that's following a path, and then that's being influenced by a node influence uh, and data channel modifier. I also have a split polygon modifier here, which is, is really pretty interesting. This is something Martin Ashton wrote for me in MCG, um, but it just basically takes any mesh and splits it by polygon. Great little modifier. So uh, let's just go ahead and add a transform elements. And in this case, I don't want it to be multiply. I want it to actually take the notes influence in absolute mode. So I'll set this to replace and it's still taking it from the stack. And we'll go ahead and do scale for now. And then uh, let's put a vertex output and we'll set this to position. So and just turn this off. So immediately you can see that it's actually scaling the objects uh, based on the value. And as it goes around, you can see that it's scaling each element. So some other controls that we have with the transform elements is uh, instead of scale, we can, well, of course we can adjust, uh, we can set this to 100 and then set this to zero and it would have the, the exact opposite effect. And let's set that back. And um, we can also do things like rotation. Or position. And you can also do things like, uh, let's see, well, you can randomize. Maybe add a little bit more. You can also layer these on top of one another. So if I wanted to add another one, um, you could simply just add another transform elements. Replace, set this one to scale, uniform, and add another vertex output. Now, you notice that this didn't actually work the way that we expected. And the reason it didn't work is because we've already output that information as a position so from the stack you're not really getting anything so a work around a work around around this is we could do something like have another vertex output that's actually doing say a vertex color and then instead of using the stack on the second one we'll actually use uh, vertex color So now we have both rotation and scale happening um, on the same object. And then you, so you could stack them over and over and over again. You could use the same vertex color for multiple uh, ones of these as well. Okay, so let's transform elements. 